Yo, we're back. Another episode of Spring Beaver Trapping, you guys. Um, I haven't named this series yet, I don't think. But what I want to do is I want to, uh, I'm thinking of, I'm, you know, I'd like a goal, you know, two or three hundred beaver. Maybe I'll just, like, put that in the description, like Spring Beaver Trapping, um, 200 beaver season or something on that order. Hopefully the sun isn't too bad. We'll get over here. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what's going on. This spot, more spring beaver trapping. The beaver have knocked down a bunch of birch, um, some elm. They pretty much cleared, clear cut this whole ridge here. Um, you can see they've taken all the stuff in the oaks over there and now they started on the birch and there's poplar up here. But this whole line here is all wide open from the bank dens that these beaver have had. Sorry for the sniffling. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set four bank dens along here, you guys, and then I'm gonna set one run on this big lodge over here. Kind of interesting. This this lodge has collapsed in the center. See a big hole right there. That shouldn't look like that. So that's collapsed in there. Um, the beaver have, you know, obviously found their way around that. However, they did that because their their run was being used right there. But right there is a really wide run. I literally had to go six feet in, moving brush to get close to the lodge. There, they had a they had a massive feed pile. There's some left here, but they're really causing a bunch of problems, you guys, for the homeowner. So we're gonna we're gonna take them out and take them out right about now. In fact, I think let's uh, get at her. All right, you guys can probably see that, right? Sure you can. Okay. Whoa. All right, you guys. So we got a we got a bank down here, okay? There's way up close to the shoreline there's a big log laying right here in the middle of this bank then but it's not going to stop us from setting it I think. so i'm going to try to do a little bit more stuff this year where you can see more better what i'm doing here Trap here, 3.30. I don't even know what this one is exactly, to be honest with you guys. There we go. Alright. Wearing the safeties on this guy. Put this. Boom. Boom. Alright. Now... You guys, I'm putting this trap down in here. See that? I'm putting it, I don't know if you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm putting it down in here. And I'm just shoving these sticks. It's gonna sit on the bottom. These sticks are going right through. Like that, like cheapy style, right through into the bottom. That's all I'm doing. Quick, easy, very effective is what it is. Okay? This one through the other side. Gotta make 
make sure I'm getting full. I think I'm. Oh, there we go. I was going to log or something. So those sticks are just right through the top there. 330's right on the bottom. Got this cable here. You guys can use T-bar stakes. I have a bunch. I don't have, you know, 50 or 60 of them. Got some for my footholds for drowners. Um, but get these trapped like this. Just a good stick shoved in somewhere. Like this. We're gonna hold them, but I recommend that you don't just leave it up like this, shove it. You want to get this below the water line because a beaver can come and chew this off. And it won't matter. They're, I, as long as you get it in good, they'll chew it off and your wet, your cables will be here. Oh, that is way down there. Beaver will never pull that out. There you go, you guys. Simple. Trap is set. Tomorrow morning, hopefully, we got a floater. Oh, so hopefully the wind isn't too bad, you guys. There's this is there's a run coming out here, and all I'm gonna do is it's kind of a wide run. Um, you could put multiple traps here if you wanted to try and get these beaver. Adding, don't I don't like adding fresh live sticks you guys because the beaver will treat them like a snack generally and just chew them off all right you guys so I shoved a few sticks in here to kind of channel these beaver through the set here have an H stand. Each stand, I have a brand new 330 here. If I get a beaver in it, it's not going to be going anywhere. So I'm not too worried about it getting away with my trap. I don't have to anchor it to anything but this H stand. There we go. Attack, boys. All right. One near. Another one. Yeah, just like so. Get her on your H stand. You can do this up on shore, obviously. I'm just showing you guys my process here. Top's gonna go together like so. And I'm actually just gonna put my loop around the top here and cinch it shut. There we go, you guys. There we go, that trap is now set. I'm ready to be putting this run. I'm gonna find the edge of it here. we go on the bottom I'll loop this up here so it doesn't hang down on the trap anywhere 
just like that. There we go, you guys. Got that H stand set up. Just like that. What up? We are back out today for the first check on this lodge. Kind of excited. Get these beaver out here for these guys. Like I said, yes, they are tearing down birch trees. They're tearing down all kinds of hardwoods, which is kind of weird because there's popple right next to them all. Anyway, 25 degrees out this morning. Might mess up some of my open water stuff, my castor melons. I don't know. Anyway, let's get over here and hopefully pull out a big beaver or two and maybe some small ones. All right. <clears throat> huh. Well, I do not see my H stand sticking out of the water here anywhere like I suspected it would be. Oh, there's my cable though. The cable's right there. Ugh. That means everything else is going to be right there with a big beaver in it. Right by the head, you guys. Right like I was hoping. Oh, freaking A, boys. go that's one big beaver you guys caught each stand did work got them nice go check the rest of these quick Beaver, beaver number two, you guys, coming in, coming in hot. Two traps, two beaver. And you know what's funny? <clears throat> what's really funny? I told you guys, I said, hey, where in the heck did that go? This isn't it, but. I told you guys, I said, hey, I said, anchor, anchor your stick. So the cable is below the ice in case the beaver chop it off. Sure enough, the beaver chewed the top of this stick off and the cable is right where I said it would be, down in the bottom so you can't get away with the trap. Two for two. That's good. I was just hoping to get one or maybe two beaver. <clears throat> All right, you guys. I knew I had a fifth trap here. So there's a stick here, like so, pull that out, bam. Other one's here, bam. Oh, I see the tail. There we go. Bam. Another beaver, right there, right by the head. Mm. Kind of bummed out I had a sprung trap, but you guys, there are a ton of muskrats swimming in this pond. So I'm not super surprised. Anyway, beaver number three out of this pond. First check. <clears throat> I'm going to pull them out of the trap, so we'll take a look at them. All right, you guys, here we go. Right here, we've got three beaver on this check. One small one, two small ones, and then a blanket. The adult, one of the adults. Probably going to be one or two more of those guys, and definitely one more big one in here. 
hopefully that sprung trap back back there yes <clears throat> was from muskrats and tomorrow we catch another big one and another small one and we pull these traps yeah hey guys what's up we are back today yesterday we caught three beaver we caught one big one and two small ones check the first trap nothing in it second trap you can guys see there's some feet and tail sticking up over here good sign just a uh Looks like just a little guy, but got him right by the head in that Victor 330. Kind of limp, like he's maybe hasn't been here for too long. Yeah. All right, you guys, got this beaver here. I'm gonna pull it on the trap real quick, like, and reset it. I'm really digging these uh, <clears throat> arm length. These are actually big game gut gloves. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. Um, they are fantastic. I do need to find something though to keep them from coming down because they keep falling down around my elbows. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. But one spring there. Spring there. Get this guy reset quick. You know, I do like, I do like uh, trapping through the ice, but I tell you what, it's nice not having to worry, worry about chopping holes in the ice and this and that. You can walk right into the water and set these traps. But also at the same time, it is a lot easier pulling beaver around in sleds on ice and on snow. So it's a, it, it depends, pick your poison. You know, do you want it to be easier one way or another? All right, trap's anchored over here. Got my 330. Just feeling the sides of the run here. Make sure it's right where I want it. I can put this trap right down in there. You guys have seen me freeze my hands off about 4,000 times, and now I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. That one's in. Other side. That one's in. Bam. Trap is reset. We got ourselves another small beaver. That is three small ones now and one big one out of this lodge. There's one big one left. Hopefully, when we come and pull these traps, we'll have them. I'll see you on the next check. What's up, guys? We are here for a final check on this beaver lodge. Um, you know, it's really nice and sunny out. Now you can kind of see all the peeled sticks and these bank dens and everything out here. We have taken one big beaver and three small beavers out of here and we're hoping to get one more to uh, get rid of them. I mean, they've just been hammering the trees on this property. And just walking by you guys, I can see a giant tail right there in the water right now. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> stop. I'm too excited you guys, I can't handle it. <laughs> Oh, we're we putting that on the video. Oh, that's a big beaver. So, it's not, <laughs> not like a two year old. Let's see here, we'll pull the stick out. Oh. Oh. Come out, come out. Here we go. Big beaver. Boys and girls, big. Huge beaver. Big female. It's not gonna have kick this year. Oh, look at that big beaver. I'll bet that's a 60 pounder, you guys. What do you think? Big tail on that beaver. Get him up here quick. Oh. Wow. Just so you guys know, this is the last trap of the day that we are checking. And it just happens to be a monstrosity, to say the least. You guys, look at that monster. There we go. Ooh, can't beat that. Sweet. Well, happy to report these people will not be worrying about beaver anymore cutting down all their trees. Another beaver trapping video down. Spring beaver. We got ice. We got ice, but we're trapping off water pretty much, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, share, subscribe.